Collins Mullen keeping on seven, and Becky on a mulligan. These players prepping for the event together likely know the matchup. Yeah, and it uh, looks like Becky is starting with the mulligan. Titan Shift, not a deck that mulligans terribly well. You do need a mix of a lot of mana and expensive spells. Inevitably, you need to cast Primeval Titan or have a bunch of lands and cast Scape Shift. Titan Shift, see Becky on a mulligan here. It is not a deck that mulligans particularly well. You kind of need three things. You need lands, ramp spells, and the finisher. Right. So almost any six, that is going to be a keep, as long as it's reasonable at all. Mm -hmm. See, Collins having won the die roll it is going to make things harder. Both players start off with some tapped dual lands. And Collins' first decision here, he looks like he has a Baral and a Remand. He's going to pass. Now, he doesn't actually have a third land here, so he's, he's hoping to... I suppose dodge lightning bolt. He wants to remand this whatever ramp spell she plays and then attempt to combo. Which that spell will be Farseek. Actually, Farseek's going to resolve. Yeah, it's a little early. He's in a position where he might be able to just, if he has gets a land, just combo with Baral on the third turn. Yeah. He has naturally drawn a Grape Shot, so there's some incentive to maintain the Remand in hand, just to Remand your own Grape Shot to get enough Storm. And the Far Seek's not doing anything. It's ramping, right. it's building Becky towards what she wants to do. And he draws Gifts Ungiven. He has a good mix of rituals, yeah. but if he has to ritual Manamorphose, then Brawl, that's not going to do it. Yeah, he has two, he has Pyretic, Desperate, Manamorphose, Grape Shot, Brawl, Remand gifts ungiven. So sort of hand that would look really nice if he did have that third land. Becky casts Prismatic Omen, plays a fetch land, taps it for Sak Sakura Tribelder. But of course, Prismatic Omen lets you tap your mana. And at this point, Becky's just going to continue to be shields down. Titan doesn't represent too much interaction anyway. So since the draw step for Collins was gifts ungiven, he's in a position where he'll be able to utilize Baral and just go for that clean drum up tutors and pass and flames win. So now the remand, I think, is pretty expendable on the hand. I'd you be, like the land drop, right? Yes. I'd be very interested in just remanding the tribe elder to cycle the remand. Yeah, get a chance at land drop. Do you, would you use the mana morphos first to see if that's necessary, or is that too valuable? He needs to cast gifts on given, or from three lands, you have to play, cast a mana morphos after the Baral. So I think you have to hang on to that one. Yeah, it looks like that's true. I like the patience on Colin's side. It was likely would have been okay to remand the first spell, but realizing in this matchup he could just have something else to remand the next turn seems nice. He draws a second Baral, so that's not going to play too well. All right, but there's, a there's land. third land. This should be a combo yeah. turn. Then. And, you know, game one, especially on the Titan Shift side, you need something to break your way. So, as well as it sounds, one of the things Becky was hoping to have happen was... Collins just misses that second land. She has the omen. Then she could do something like play, play ramp spell, cast escape shift, omen on plus shift on six lands wins. Right. Collins going to count it out, though. It's likely. I don't know if it's de actually just determined here, but it, it's got a lot of play. So it's two rituals, Manamorphose. So you play your land, Baral. Ritual to three, ritual to five, Manamorphose to six, Gifts Ungiven back down to three. So that's a pile where you get Past in Flames and three rituals. Three rituals. So yeah. you're either going to get a ritual and the Past in Flames or two rituals and flashback the Past in Flames. Looks like you're going to get there. Right. By that count, yeah, because you will have enough mana to use the Past in Flames and start again. It's kind of funny because, like, that element of the deck is not the homework you need to do to win a tournament. The important games are the ones that are way harder. Yeah. So it kind of makes sense to be unfamiliar with the easy <laughs> mode kill. Like, hey, what? my opponent's not interacting at all. And Collins actually passes. Maybe we miscounted it. Yeah, I don't know if he's worried about some zero mana effect here. Well, well you actually have to be worried about, about losing. So if Becky goes land, explore, untapped land, scape shift, she wins. Yeah. 
Prismatic Omen and Valakuts combine very well. Yeah. Now it has to be Explore, because otherwise she won't have the untapped lands. And it turns out it's Sakura Tribe Elder, so Collins does get another turn. But he opened himself up to that card. Looks like his plan is end step Ritual Gifts on Given and setting up from there. That is what it will be, Ritual and Gifts. And unfortunately, this, for Becky, you know, I think Collins had a win last turn. Maybe we're off on that, but he should have something this following turn. It's just too strong not to. Right. He has exposed himself to a Lightning Bolt, though. Right? Becky has untapped mana. And In if the she previous turn, Becky was tapped out. Yeah, if she has Lightning Bolt plus Scape Shift, just that, that should be good enough. Right. Because uh, also the, the texture changed a little bit going into Colin's turn. We'll see exactly what he ends up with on the gifts. He's probably getting more rituals in hand. Though it's a position where starting with Baral, it, it's a little bit hard to actually cast a second Baral and start going off once you get lightning bolted. Well, Past and Flames has to be in the mix, right? And he, you have to get ones with different names. <laughs> yeah, he caught that pretty quick. No interest in Mana Morphos. He'll get the fourth land. And I love Becky decisive on this, when I think is, is clearly the correct pick. Yes, rituals are better than lands. Gives him land, past, and flames. I don't know about, how do you feel about getting land over Mana Morphos? The stock list would put a Mana Morphos there. I generally prefer Mana Morphos. Um, he seems to believe that he's a Mana Shy. I think that's why you saw him passing on the previous turn. Yeah, draws a third Brawl, that won't play. I agree. I mean, if this is the last turn of the game, Manamorphos is just better than a land, because you could always top deck the land. But here we go. Baral into Desperate Ritual. Check for Lightning Bolt. I don't think Becky has it. This would have been the spot to do it. It's kind of funny the way it plays out, too. He's down a Ritual starting here and played a land instead. So you can see this is just kind of the same starting position as last turn. Yeah. <laughs> the math didn't change. Manamorphos, third spell of the turn. This is how you play the matchup from the Titan side, is you Help adjust... Them adjust you, yes, you storm do that. <laughs> Let's yeah, move this along. That is the correct strategy <laughs> for the matchup. We share a match here, clock. Here, so. I got this. <laughs> and this should work. Past in Flames. Puts him down to two and one, but a big graveyard full of cards. Should be good enough. So six spells, Pyretic Ritual. Seven spells, Desperate Ritual. Wow, and, and Becky not adjusting the dice anymore. No, it's not. This isn't, now it's not fun. <laughs> you already cast the past in flames. Yeah, you're at nine spells. At this point, Collins has Grape Shot, Flashback, Fast and Flames, Grape Shot. And that will take game one over for Storm. Yeah. Kind of exposed himself to a lightning bolt. It did not look like he needed to, but it wasn't there. Yeah, there were a lot of situations It was that I think he left himself open to. The lightning bolt there could have done it. And as I mentioned before, by passing that turn, if Becky's ramp spell was Explore and not Tribelder, he could have lost. But, you know, no harm, no foul. Up a game. Look, not only it's a bad matchup for Titan Shift. Yes. You need to you your opponent might leave you some extra windows, but you usually don't hit them. Your deck could use the help. Look, you don't play any <laughs> cantrips, okay? We don't get to pick what's in our hand. We draw the seven and then we cast them. Right. And it was a six. That was a we draw, like Yeah, that well. was a mold of six. So we'll look at the sideboard. Okay. On Becky's side, she's gonna need more interaction. The deck is much slower. Fortunately, Titan players are aware of this. So the sideboard has a lot of cards for the matchup. Yes. Yeah, the sideboard, there's three Damping Sphere, two Obstinate Baloth, two Graft Trigger's Cage, an Ancient Grudge, an Anger of the Gods, and a Braid, an Hour of Devastation, a Tireless Tracker, a Reclamation Sage, a Beast Within, and a Carnage Tyrant. So those three Damping Spheres, those two Graft Trigger's Cage, those are really going to help supplement those main deck Relic Progenitus and pushing the Storm deck off. Um, 
There's some argument for bringing in that extra braid to fight over a mana creature. You can't go too low on ramp spells is kind of the thing, though. Yeah, so you're, what I'm okay with is we look at the flex slots. So Damping Sphere of 3, Graph Digger's Cage of 2, both seem pretty good. They are probably better than Anger of the Gods and Sweltering Suns. But now we're at, if you go any farther than those three, you're looking at Lightning Bolts, Relic of Progenitus, or cards that are part of the ramp package. In a matchup where you're the slower combo deck and you have these very hateful cards, I'm interested in trimming scape shifts. Whew. Now maybe I'm maybe I'm off base there. I don't play decks like this. I think but that swap makes a lot of sense to me. I think you'd trim the summoner's packs first. Sure. That kind of effect is yes, what I'm Yes, You want to trim some of the game winners. That seems fine. Yeah, scape shift is the one you want because it's likely better against remand here. Even then. It's it's tough. Yeah. Yeah, some of these game-ending effects, just drawing a bunch of those, you can find yourself in a position where your damping spheres, your Graft Digger's Cage, are very powerful in the matchup. Yeah. You can lean on them a bit, but you can't if your hand is two Primeval Titans and two Scape Shifts. That's true. If you're going to board in three damping spheres, the card Summoner's Pact also becomes a seven-mana card, True. which matters a ton. Yes, absolutely. So that may be something to go toward. On Collins' side, I mean, they don't bring much to this matchup because it's already great. Sometimes they have, in the past, they've had Blood Moons. If they have them, they'd board them in. <laughs> uh, I don't know if he has anything here he'd use. Yeah, frequently we just see biasing against Graveyard Hate and go for the pieces of the puzzle. That makes sense to me. And you're probably expecting stuff like Graph Digger's Cage, at least Relic of Regenitus, Damping Sphere, so Echoing Truth, Wipe Away, they seem pretty good. You might want to one-empty the Warrens, just so you don't lose to Surgical Extraction. Sure. That said, Collins does have one um, Noxious Revival, which might mean he doesn't even have to do that. Fancy. Let's take it out of the graveyard. We're reaching the end of October here. Halloween's midweek. But if you want to get this heads up the class, game night, pin and token, you still have a few days to do so. Those are being given out in the month of October as prizes for tournaments at local stores all around the country. If you come in later in the week, you'll get the Rise from the Nashes pin. This one is the 1-1 one, one Elemental. You driven to the birds, the Elemental? Not, yes. the, not the Gator? Yes. All right. I like this wordplay with an obscure word because you get to say Nashes. That's just wow. fun. That's just good, clean <laughs> fun. <laughs> and in December, we'll be giving away the Bramble Hopper Elite. So you can get signed up or find a game night near you at starcitygames.com slash game night. The Bramble Hopper is just kind of that's, nonsense. That, that's great. That's, this is my favorite one. That's too much for me. Well, yeah. It's, the, it bunnies hop through the Bramble. See, Bramble Hopper is clearly trying to be fun, whereas Nash's is just naturally enjoyable. This one's adorable, though. I know you're kind. You cat and I'm bunny kind people. Of <laughs> Ryan doesn't like cute animals. I like crocodiles <laughs> and their gnashing maws. <laughs> Ryan's like, where are the. I want to see some giraffes. <laughs> hey, giraffes are cute animals. Yeah, you so. seem to disagree. Where, where are the elephants at? <laughs> <laughs> elephants are also cute. cute. Okay. Collins casts sleight of hand. Becky taps relic, gets that out of there. You're a person who like evolved all your Pokemon immediately, weren't you? Blastoise is just better. Has better stats than Squirtle. Look, Pikachu doesn't want to become Raichu. Pikachu is already unplayable. All right, Collins was looking for a second land, and he did draw it for his draw step, so that'll help things out a bit. He has Baral. I assume that he is on that pieces over gifts ungiven post on Cy cyborg strategy just because he expects graveyard hate to be one of few ways to lose. And he has the kind of hand where he could theoretically cast Baral here and might have a turn three win if he gets to untap with it. Yeah, Baral, sleight of hand, opt. It looks like we have a Mana Morphos, Desperate Ritual, Pyretic Ritual. So why not? He'll throw out Baral. Becky's turn to play was Colony Heart Expedition. Certainly in the face of Baral, if she can't remove it, she needs to leave up that mana for Relic. Yes. He 
here's a regular land. A fetch land would have been perfect. She'll go for regular one. But leaving up the extra mana not difficult for this deck. Most of what she wants to do with her turn is cast a two mana ramp spell or search for tomorrow to find yeah. an untapped land. Yeah, that's why the fetch land would have been nice. Then you can go fetch land, get two counters, cast a ramp spell, get three, leave up relic. Right. Perhaps turn four titan. At this, because she doesn't have that, if she wants to leave up relic, we might be looking at a turn five titan. Search for tomorrow. So the play gets a second counter on the colony heart. And does leave up the land for the relic. Gotta figure if there were a lightning bolt that would be showing up right now. There and it is. And there it is. Does mean she's taking down the relic, though. Can It's asking a lot for Collins to combo through this. That's acceptable once you've taken care of the Brawl. It, right. there, there is a cost to it, but I think it'll be fine. And Manamorphos from Collins. Wants that third land for pieces of the puzzle. Doesn't find it. If he really wanted the pieces of the puzzle, he could have ritualed into it, but that makes no sense. He'll spend his blue mana on Opt. Right. You would be going down cards to try to convert yeah. your card advantage spell. Yeah, now Sleight of Hand. That's a replacement Baral. Ooh. So he's got a third land in hand. He's got a Baral. So next turn, Collins looks like he may have the combo. I doubt Becky will take down Relic again, though. Right. But you do see he has picked up uh, pieces of the puzzle, so he is on that less graveyard-centric post-sideboard plan, so he still might have a combo. Back to Becky's side we go. Does she have another land? She seems Ooh, to have at least no. one Titan stranded. She doesn't have the third land. It's a rough go. I don't... I mean, she can crack Relic to try to find it, but that's a huge cost. And she'll just say go, not willing to do it. Face up, having seen pieces of the puzzle, I think if you've played this matchup a lot, you could yeah. determine that your Relic doesn't stop the combo. We, we've seen Storm players combo through Relic already in just this tournament. Yeah. And the land is so important that I, I think there's an argument to crack the Relic. And pieces of the puzzle from Collins is Opt, Death Ritual, and two pieces. I think Becky will end, may end step crack this relic. Yeah, that, that's also really strong. For Collins on this pieces, I think that you lock in the first pieces of the puzzle as one of the cards you're taking, and he decides on the second. There's Oof. an argument for Desperate Ritual as a second card. He yeah. is already pretty flush with rituals, though. Yeah, I'm interested in seeing whether Becky does go for the relic here, whether she still feels like she needs to hang on to it. Okay, and Collins ended up cho choosing Op. That's an interesting decision as well. It's... A lower mana investment cantrip to keep going yeah. on your combo turn. That, that's why I would supplement the piece as well. And Becky does end step, clear out the graveyards. Now the question is, can she make a Titan this turn? It is unlikely. Does have a land for that colony heart. And we'll crack it for two more. Uh, so this is seven lands. Does she have a scape shift? That will do it. Collins did go to 18 that turn. Feels kind of like it, doesn't it? Yeah, it feels like she needs a second green. Crack of that fetch land makes sense. Cinderglade, we're at seven. Yeah, she's presenting half-heartedly because she's like, I'm about to do this again. Hold on. And there's Scape Shift. Collins not even going to show it. So the pile would be a Valakut and six more mountains. Collins at exactly 18, and we will go to a game three. Yeah, and that game, Edelman did have the important elements break her way. She had the lightning bolt for the Brawl. The Relic didn't really seem to actually matter, but... It's, it's non-zero. Yeah, that in that situation, big. because Collins was stuck on mana, I don't think the Relic really did matter here. Right. I mean, it's like, what well, you got? You are a red-green deck. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you, My sideboard is red cards, <laughs> green cards, and artifacts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Police to play is a lot. People would say, how do I improve, you know, insert matchup X? And a lot of times my answer would be, you don't. My yeah, favorite one's yeah. still like, how do I beat Infect? I'm like, well, I've shown up with, like, 15-card sideboards for Infects, and I still lose 2-0. Here's, here's a list of other decks you could register. Yeah. Like, you can play four Spell Skites. You're still going to lose to Infect, but it'll... You'll feel better while losing. Right. You'll feel like you did something. <laughs> I've had Spell Skite in my sideboard at uh, various points. Part of my sideboard plan against Green-White Hexproof. And it, it, okay. never, it never works. I feel like ever since the, the Splinter Twin ban, Spellskites just hasn't really done enough. Yeah. You know. You ever had your Infect opponent twisted image your Spellskite? Yeah, that was a <laughs> that says something about the meta. 
when Twisted Image is showing up. Yeah, just, just to kill Spellskites, just so I can get my twin. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Uh, going modern, down this rabbit hole. Modern has a lot of noble hierarchs right now. It's just Twisted Image them. But uh, part of the reason you don't see Twisted Images anymore is that the decks like humans, they just have so, so many other creatures where yeah. the image is just kind of cute. If you draw it, you have to cast it because you have to answer the other threats, which uh, was not as true with previous metagames and decks. Looks like there's a shuffling error here. Colin's flipping some cards. He's going to call a judge on himself, and the judge will take care of that one. A dexterity error. Yeah. For Collins Mullen, 9 and 3 from North Carolina, just a bit away over in the Durham area. He does have an open win that was with humans. Seven open top eights as well. Enjoys rock climbing and bouldering. Yeah, that's which is it's different rock climbing. Oh, okay. I was thinking like pushing boulders up no, hills. No, no, no. That's oh. like the historic, the mythical character Sisyphus. Yes, it is his Sisyphean task. No, bouldering is when you're on. It's just climbing instead of up the wall. You're like climbing sideways on one big boulder. Okay. Yeah. That's neat. You don't, you're not tied up to the ceiling, so it's scarier. I, I assume if you fall, you fall. I assume that's more enjoyable than pushing a boulder up a hill in perpetuity. I would think so. Bouldering's hard. I respect that one. I, I, I can't even rock climb. I, it's kind of a funny, funny story for me. Um, I'm kind of afraid of heights. Okay. And the people tell you, you, know, you should just face your fears. Just do the it. way to overcome your fears is to face your fears. So... One time, at one point in my life, I climbed a rock wall, only to find myself at the top, terrified to come down. Sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> so I was just standing up there, and like, yeah, you got to repel backwards. Like, there's, there's just no that way that I'm doing that in reverse. This reminds me, I had a, I had, I have a, I had a cat. My my cat would like to do this. And when my cat was here, she'd start climbing up the curtains, and then we'd get up really high, and then start crying. So you'd be really scared. <laughs> and then I'd be like, all right, so I grab the cat to like pull the cat off the curtains. And the cat would like fiercely hang on to the curtains again. I'm like, look, okay, something has to give here. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. Like, like, <laughs> I'm sorry you did this. <laughs> right. I'm trying to, <laughs> to help, help you. you. Yeah. <laughs> Colin's on a six card hand. And Becky, turn one relic. That certainly can play. St. Collins has three lands in the opener. I'm going to go ahead and... We have Opt, Sleight of Hand. We'll go for Sleight of Hand. And grape Shot and another land. He's got some busy... <laughs> he was about to scry them both I to the bottom. Put these both <laughs> on the bottom. I will take neither. I mean, I like, so you're saying is you didn't find what you were looking for. Yeah. The Grape Shot seems more valuable, but I like the <laughs> scry bolt at the bottom line. It makes Spire Bluff Canal leaving up Opt. That's nice. He does have, so right now his hand is third land, Opt, Baral, Grape Shot. We're missing some pieces here. Yeah. Not a ton to go off of, and no. that's how a lot of your six card hands are going to look. No, and Becky's kept on seven, and the reason, you have to be concerned if you're Collins because Titan Shift is very consistent. Yes. Like almost all the cards in this deck do, do actually the same thing. The deck is. Pretty bent on doing a lot of damage to you with mountains on turn four. You know, it's the deck is roughly 40 lands, so she'll probably draw another land. Or a way to make a land. <laughs> right. Becky chops both, uh, timing the relic in a great way, chops both cards out of the graveyard. All right, this was a fine pick. I mean, Collins missed a little bit. He did find a land, but he's found a Manamorphose. Okay, yeah, extra rituals is exactly what he's looking for here. And specifically mana morphos, replacing itself, going up mana with the brawl. Yep. That is a strong one. Though he's running low on time, depending on what Becky does this turn. Call me heart from her. Leaving up that mana. That's going to resolve, and here's a fetch land. With the way Becky's deck has set up, I would be very surprised if she doesn't have a turn four win. Right. This sand just looks too... It looks pretty good. Now, difficulty, she plays fetch land and gets one landfall counter on the colony heart is that if she wants to try to get three counters on it this turn to crack it, she will take down that relic. 
And so she'll instead suspend search for tomorrow. Right. The line she had available, she could have cast search and then had some two mana spell, yeah. but she's valuing leaving up the relic. Notably, it's awkward because she would prefer to just win next turn. That was what I was saying is interesting about this play. If you have a turn four win, you'd never suspend this because there is no turn five, and that's when it's going to come off suspend. Right. So if the rest of the hand does just win on turn four, I like the bluff equity on suspending this because you're not using it unless it's a vital part of that turn four, uh, something like untapped land for escape shift, which theoretically right. could be a thing. Uh, but if you're telling Collins, like, on the table, I will do this in two turns, you're, you're kind of suggesting think, to him yeah. that this turn's not your last turn. That's interesting. I mean, her, her easy win here is pretty straightforward. If she cracks the fetch on end step, makes land drop five, cracks Colony Heart, goes to seven, casts Escape Shift. The Collins is at 20. So that would not be lethal. <laughs> yeah. Here he puts him to two. Right. He has a Scalding Tarn, but that does not play into that equation. Let's just say go. He not does not believe he's going to go. He will lose this turn. Search down to one. Becky draws here. There are some lines that could win this turn. Things like Fetch Land, Explore Land, Escape Shift, Crack Colony Heart. That can get you to eight. Well, she still has Uncracked Fetch Land as well. Yep. Second Colony Heart. That is a ton of lands. <laughs> but they'll all be tapped. And this could matter if she is missing a finisher, but has the card Valakut in hand. She has so many lands available here that she may be able to win without a finisher, and that's exactly what's happening. It is a little bit awkward that she already has a basic forest on the battlefield for these purposes. Yeah. Well, she should actually be able... That should be fine. Because the colony hearts come in multiples of two, if you bridge from four to six with a colony heart, sure, you you're skip, cool. You, you skip, skip the one you would miss. Right. It, it will require her to do some fancy sequencing. And she has six basic mountains, and that's actually going to come up relevant here. There's one in play, and she has five mountains with those ramp spells we see on the table. So if she draws another basic, or has another basic in her hand, or draws another search for tomorrow, or a Sakura Tribe Elder, they don't play anymore. Sure. Though, generally, she's really hoping to find Primeval Titan or Scape Shift. Yeah, that's ideal. This isn't going to matter unless her hand has another Valakut in it. And if that's the case, this is all fine. She doesn't need any of those finishers. Right. Four land drops that trigger all doing six. It's 24. If I was on Colin's side, I would try to win this turn. <laughs> yes. If it looked close, I would have tried to win last turn. Yeah. <laughs> he picked up. Noxious Revival, which is actually pretty interesting in how you assemble your chain. The problem is that Unclack Re Relic of Regenitus, so that, that's yeah. kind of just one storm. He does have the fetch land, so he could try to play a game where he forces an activation on the Relic, and then he can Noxious Revival in response. Because that fetch land blocks for just the one tapping activation. What are you He's going to start with Baral. He actually has some good rituals. His hand is Manamorphos, Manamorphos. Desperate Ritual, Noxious Survival, Grape Shot. So he has some redraws. You're right, he'd like to combo without the Graveyard, which is harder. Right. But possible here, I think. Yeah, he uh, needs his Mana Morphos to find some good stuff, but the the possibility is there. You know, if he starts Mana Morphosing into some more like pieces of the puzzle, that then finds some Rituals, that finds some other pieces, that finds a Grape Shot, and then he Grape Shots twice. He's right. looking for something like that. Yes. Yeah, hits that, generate some card advantage, and generate more mana, kind of going through back and forth on those two kinds of effects until you have enough storm. Now we see Mana Morphos, but Becky's reaching for some mana here. Going to get a Stomping Ground tapped for both the Colony Hearts. And this is actually a cool line. If she's willing to cash out both these Colony Hearts, she can sacrifice them both to get Mountains 4-5 and then Mountains... 6-7 and deal 3 damage to the Baral. And that's a pretty huge swing in her favor. Collins already is looking at a pretty scrappy turn and without the Baral he's yeah. not going to be able to generate enough extra resources. 
to find pieces and the pieces in the rituals, you really lean on generating more extra mana than just plus one. And then second, Mana Morphos. Uh, I suppose he cast that one in response and it's plus one, but future copies won't be as meaningful. And then six, seven. So downside on Becky's side is that because of how the mountains showed up, remember I said that you said that forest makes her skip one. She did miss a trigger from the forest. Now, but I think removing Baral is more than worth that. Yes. And it's very much a position where finding escape, shin very, escape shift very easily wins the game from here. Yeah. And two Valakut triggers at Baral. And I'm probably upstairs. In response, another Mana Morphos from Collins. And then he says, all right, let's do it. So the first Mana Morphos resolves. He'll be doing as much instant speed as he can with this Baral still in play. That first one's going to make red-blue. Yeah, if you can uh, use some of this floating red mana to cast rituals, you want to do it when you still control the Baral so that you can actually generate more extra mana. Yeah, we'll confirm what that first Mana Morphos Resolving made. So that one would be... Oh, Storm is at four. Mana Morphos, Mana Morphos, Opt. Yeah, red is floating because he casts Opt. So pieces of the puzzle, if he had a Baral sticking around, that would be worth way more. Yeah. He's going to end up, if he uses a Desperate Ritual with five mana once that other Mana Morphos resolves. Well, Ryan, hold on. He could Noxious Revive, let the Baral die, Noxious Revival the Baral, draw it off this Mana Morphos on the stack. Is that going to work? That's going to force the Relic. Oh, yeah, there's a Relic. There's Becky, too much to go around. Yeah, Becky does still have that mana left up. You can force her to see it. Okay. You know, the Noxious Revival costs zero mana, and you're unlikely to actually do anything with it as long as the Relic is left up. So, that Mana Morphos does not get to resolve until Baral is gone, however. All right, so now, that, yeah, we have some Valica triggers on the stack there, so Baral dies. We'll see whether both Valka triggers are at Baral or whether she threw three of them upstairs. Yeah, three of those up, so Colin goes to 16. Draws off the Mana Morphos. Three mana floating. And Colin's hand doesn't work yet, but Becky may yet get this match. I don't know if Colin's plan is that Becky just has nothing. Yeah. If he's just going to cast pieces of the puzzle? Because he, I don't uh, think he's getting another turn, and he's not playing as if he has to go off this turn. Well, if what Becky has is Primeval Titan instead of Scape Shift, he may get another turn. But I'm not even sure he gets another. Like, look at that hand. Is another turn good? If she casts, if all she has is Primeval Titan instead of Scape Shift, he might get another turn, but he certainly isn't getting a turn after that. You would need this pieces of the puzzle to be really good. And yeah, he's going to use all his mana. A great window open here for Becky. Remand, Serum Visions, Serum Visions, Gifts Ungiven. The, he's got to play like she has nothing. Yeah, the, the Gifts really doesn't play here because that Relic's going to be hanging out. Well, you can maybe force her the Relic crack with the Noxious Survival and then Gifts. Sure, but he doesn't have the mana to start going with Gifts. Right. He doesn't have access to a Baral. If he had two turns to set up, the gifts is interesting. The issue is that the Serum Visions, it's a lot of blue mana to use when you don't have that much mana available, and the remand is very unlikely to convert to anything shy of remanding your own grape shot. So, gifts and Serum Vision into the hand, and Becky and Step will crack Relic of Progenitus. It's another draw at Lethal Scape Shift if she doesn't have it. Yeah. A lot to like here. It also can could be... And Colin's seeing if he wants Noxious in response. I'm really interested in Noxiousing Baral. Yeah, I agree. Especially since he grabbed Gifts on Given and that Relic is now gone. Yeah, I mean, cracking Relic here is interesting. I almost wanted to keep it. Yes, I was interested in keeping it. 
It really depends what those hold cards are in her hand. Right. If there's a backup relic, then it's very easy to crack it. Quick mountain count. So we have five basic mountains already in play for Becky. We have one Cinder Glade and one Stomping Ground. So there's still are six mountains remaining in the deck. It's not certain that she will use the search for tomorrow. She may find a forest off it instead if she's worried about making sure, making sure that she can sleep there's shift. multiple Valakuts with the mountains. Yeah. I mean, it's three damage either way. It's probably still getting a mountain, but... Getting lower on them than otherwise. And Colin's life total is definitely not a factor in this decision. Well, if it's Primeval Titan she has, it actually could be. And see, goes ahead and Noxiouses. Depending on what she has additionally, she has so much mana available that it's really easy to Titan for two Valakuts and just make more lands, right? Yeah, so that would, right, that's the thing, is that Colin's at 14, and this will put him to 11. Titan getting two Valakuts, make a land drop, does nine. It's close. Yeah. You'd need something like Explore or Rampant Growth. And I like, yeah. The deck plays a few of those. Certainly has the mana to cast them. <laughs> most of them. She has, does she have triple green, though? Yeah, it's possibly. If, if Titan. I don't think so. If Titan was the line. Uh, yeah. Finding Forest and then getting double Valakut. Finding Forest is better than Finding Mountain. Uh, she's only down to two green sources. I'm a... Is that right? No, she has Forest, Stomping Ground, Cinder Glade. She has three. Okay. So then if she, as long as she has three, it's okay. Yeah. Two would be an issue. Things seem to be lining up right, though. Titan by itself is not like the shoot. Need Titan, land drop, ramp spell to win. It's just scapeshift wins. Here's Titan. She's playing with the kind of speed that makes me think things are gonna are going well here. Titan, land drop, ramp spell. She's got it. Yep. T Collins wants to see it. Yeah, two more Valakuts, and then there's access to two mountains. So that's three Valakuts. Yep. Nine damage off each. Nine damage off the fetch land, nine damage off the... Well, wait, hold on, Ryan. Was that ramp spell Sakura Tribelder? It was. There is not another basic mountain in her deck. Mm. That's a problem. And so she should have found basic forest off the search is what it seems like? If she had found basic forest off the search, this would be lethal. And Collins doesn't make her show it. And she gets the win. Uh, was it Valakut Mountain six points and then one land that's 612? That works, right? Say it again? Uh, so Collins was at 11 or